Hey everybody. Hi dear. Hi Yorkshire Crafter. How are you? I hope you're well. I'm supposed to be um, could stay on that. Um, getting things ready for the live on Sunday. It's Sunday 9th of the live. It's Friday the 7th today. And I was tidying at the same time and I came across my mirror card. I don't use mirror card. It's, it came free with summer. And I've just, ever since then, I've just used it for this, what I'm going to do now. So, otherwise, I'd throw it, well, I wouldn't throw it away, I'd give it to somebody because it's not my jam, if that's how they say it. Um, so, I've already cut them down the sides. I hope this didn't glare in your face. So, I've cut two gold. I'm only doing two gold, but I just want to twink these up to see what they were like. That one is actually a crafter's companion. And I don't know how it'll look with that being dull. So, that one's a, now then, what do you call it? Like a pearl effect, um, iridescent. Yeah, that's iridescent, isn't it? So I'm not doing them all, I just want to, I'm going to show you the technique. Oh, look, you can see, can you see my camera? Hey. <laughs> I'm going to show you the technique and, um, up to you, I'm making mine into men's cards, but you could, um, it looks amazing as Christmas cards, you know, just using a Christmas tree, looks amazing, so that's what we're going to do, so before we get going, I will, wait a minute, it's Father's Day next Sunday, I've put today's video up. I'm going to put this up on Sunday, the same day as the live. Purely so, if you want to do it for Father's Day, you can. That's not a bad idea. So, it's going to jump in front of five videos that I've already got on my phone ready. Never mind. So, yeah. Anybody who's not in our Facebook group, Heidi the Orchard Crafter, come in. Come and enjoy yourself. Um, loads and loads of inspiration. Absolutely loads. Right, I'm going to get on. Because Andy sat downstairs waiting for me. We have been on a little walk today. Well, we took the car in to have some work done it. I'll just tell you this first. Um, I've cut the shiny bit with the inner of the master layout one. And I've cut four cream of the outer. So that's, I can put that away now. Yeah, we um, just went to have a tiny, 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 tiny bit paperwork done it we're only 20 quid just a tiny dot and they don't like rust on car so we had that done and then we had a little walk to Asda while they did it and while we were there I was outside with Rosie I left Lexi at home because it's too much for her and a lady come up to me and says I breed cavaliers so guess what we're getting not till Christmas I said we'd get one at end of year anyway for Rosie to play with so at Christmas hopefully we'll have a little peggy that's what we've decided on. Right. thing I'm going to say before, if you ever go at this, you're using stays on. I've literally just taken the wrapper off this. I don't know how long I've had that. I've had that forever because I was going to use this. I don't have a re inker for it. And um, although I, did, I do prefer this done on that bit, but the stamping was better with the stays on. Excuse me. Yes, I had a drink pop. Right, so what I'm going to say is order, before you start, a stays on cleaner because you shouldn't really leave this on your um, stamps. So order a cleaner. I've just ordered mine, uh, the actual stays on. Mine will five ninety nine. Mine will be coming tomorrow. So, and you can get an archival, uh, uh, archival cleaner, but I'll just shoot the same one, me. So yeah, that's what you're going to use and the Versamark. So, let's crack on. So, I am going to do the first bit with this. And what we're going to do is get a little post-it now. This is how I'm going to do it. Now then, I want one of them this way. And I want one of them this way. So, I'm just going to ink up a few. 
I'm going to try this one again. And what you're doing is you're just taking it straight across. You're aging it if you like. By the way, this is called the black ice technique and it's mega old. And if I can find the info, I'll let you know who started it. It was a lady and her daughter. So I'm just going backwards and forwards. I want it more. This is the reason why I cut it to size straight away and all. Um, because if I cut it after, I'm going to miss these bits. Because they'll be cut off. So I'm trying to get a bit more on edges there. Now, without touching it, I'm going to move it to the side. Because we do need to dry them. In fact, I'll tell you what. Let's dry it. They don't take long. Naturally, when you put the heater on it, it looks like it goes foggy for a second. I'll just show you. You might not see it, but there, it's gone foggy. Can you see it? And that's it drying. I wasn't sure how it'd take on um, the heat, how it'd take on metallic card. I don't even know what make my metallic card is, apart from that foggy one, dull one, matte one. So by rights, this should be alright now. So without hoping it should be dry that ink. Oh it is still a little wet, I can see it. Or is that my hands? Yeah, it's a little bit wet still on edge, so it does need to be dry. It needs to be hundred percent dry. Don't use your normal links because it won't, like your best fine clay for stamping, it'll just sit on top. It won't dry. I'll put it this way, I was going to put quite a few to test and I sat that on top and mine didn't dry. So let me just... That's a big one. Right, I'll do it on the other side. There you go, tiny bit still there. Oh, that's dry. So that one's all right now. So that's the look you're going for. You're aging it. So we'll just do a couple right quick then. I want to see what this turns out like, but I'm going to change to the stairs on. It gives it a different look. To me, this one just swipes straight through and doesn't do it as, wow, I keep going dizzy. Um, it doesn't do it as oh, gosh that smells of marzipan can you smell it oh i love marzipan see what i mean it's like a continued whereas this one goes bitter which is what i prefer but i'll finish this one off on this oh that is so strong Gosh, I really do love marzipan. It's even picking ink up off there, look. Yeah, I'm going to use the, the other one for that, for the running through. Let's see how quick this one dries. I think this one dried quicker, actually.
Oh, I don't know if this paper's going to work. Right then. Before you even start putting your ink on, just put a bit of ink to your paper to see whether it's going to work or not. I don't think this is going to work. We'll see. We'll see if it lifts back up. And this is the Crafter's Companion one, for definite. It's going to be not very good to stamp on it, that one. It's um, bent like that. I know it's obviously still wet, but just out of curiosity, I want to see if it's going to come back because I'm not carrying on with it if it's going to stay curled up. I mean, it's draining, okay. Right, let me just run it through the dye machine, just with the top and bottom on. I won't put any, any die cuts on it. I'm just literally running it through. Just to see if it flattens it, that's all. No, it's not really. It has, and we'll use it. But I mean, I only had that one piece anyway, so I didn't have any more. Right, I'm going to try it on silver, and I'm still going to try it on the iridescent. See, I like the colour of it, but it might not work with the effect that we're after. So I'm going to go back to the archival for the running over. I prefer it with that one. I just like that it's more bitter. Oh, I hope this one will. Oh, this is to be in a belter for Christmas. Oh, I'm not rooting my trees out now. But it would have been a good one for Christmas. Yeah, definitely. Why has it got cotton on it? <laughs> Right, let's try that one off. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's do a normal silver. Because I haven't done silver yet. I've always done it on gold. But I thought I might as well try it. Because you'll all have different... Different ones. Do you like it? I really like that. Might as well just do these two. I like the silver, but all I think gold and I just think I don't know. Is it more luxury? You look curious. Let's go with that. This puts me out of um, metallic paper then. I think I'm done. I don't, I, mean, I don't particularly like it as a rule. I don't use it. That's got a blue tint to it. I like it. Right. Let's quickly dry these off. Well, we know it's quick when it's um, the metallic, don't we? If you like me, you'll get fingerprints all over it, but you don't see them once you've got your picture on. Come on, change colour. Oh, 
Well, this one's not clouding up like that. It should just be gold then that clouds up. Because that's the bit I've always looked for when I've done it. Yeah, look what it does to the gold. That's how I've always known it was nearly dry. How weird, unless it's doing it on silver and I can't see it. Yeah, this, that Crafter's Companion one was not um, not playing ball, was it? Yeah, look, you can see my thumbprint at the top there. I've got a peg out. Use a peg if you want. But it doesn't bother me seeing my thumbprint at the top. That means you've got a piece of me. I don't know what I'm going to do with these cards. I can't. I, I don't know what to give them to them because I'm putting sarcastic comments on them as well. Ooh, that's like a pop of rainbow. That's hot. Ouch. Say that. Let's lose that use that peg. That got really warm. I know when I got this um, metallic card it was a free gift. You know you bought so much and you got something tells me it was actually Obby Craft. When you uh, it was a free gift while I was actually in the shop. He spent so much and he got it free. Sure it was Craft. And I've only ever been to Craft once. It wasn't my, wasn't my thing. But then I, never, I didn't make cards then either. I was just into wanting things to do um, the scrapbook that I did. I did two and that way I never did anymore. I should do. I wish I'd got um, a tree out for silver ones. But it took me ages to find one suitable. And I think we'll try and dry this. Did we dry it? Oh, we did dry it, didn't we? Yeah, we did dry it. Let me get a piece of paper. Note on that. This one should be dry now. That's dry. That's gorgeous on its own with black on, without doing out to it. That looks dry. It will literally just them little bits. I'm picking it all up off the mat. That one's dry. I think we dried this one anyway, didn't we? Just, yeah. Yeah. Toby's downstairs. I can hear him playing with Rosa. He goes back home today. He's into... Fitness, he thinks he's trying to get big muscles. This must be somebody he watches on YouTube. So we've been going for a walk while he's been off. Um, like just like yesterday, we went to the post office, but it's a couple of miles. And we'll come back. He sat downstairs and got two tins of beans and did some um, three and four hundred kills with them. <laughs> Bless him. Right, I'll get rid of that.
that wants a proper clean. I'll just see if I can get any of this off before I pass it on to everything else. You lot won't be as scruffy as me. I can't believe how scruffy this room looks. Honestly, it's a mess. Right, so we're going to do a bit of stamping. Me personally, I am using my platform because I will be stamping more than once. And we're using, I'm in love with All and Create, absolutely fantastic. But I just thought, perfect for a man's card. I mean, there's so much more than this technique, but I absolutely love it. So that's what's getting done first. But all that will come off when my stays on stuff comes. Because that's what we're stamping with. I don't know what we're doing then. Right, we'll stamp a silver one because I ain't, like I say, I ain't done it. Rosie's there, she hasn't even been up here. Don't know if it'll stand out as much. Gosh, I love him. That's why I stuck it in the middle. So now we're going to use the stairs on. Because the archival doesn't even... It doesn't cover the stamp properly. Like I say, it could well be dry. That might be why it's doing the, the lines perfect. Oh my goodness me. I could smell that all day long. I don't have a... I've just had a look to see if I've got um, a refill for this. But I don't. But um, this will be brand new, like I just said. Literally just taking the wrapper off. I didn't even know I had it in black. I got rid of all my stays on at one point. don't know why. I can't remember why. <laughs> I'll do another one. I don't think you need to. Why does that keep doing that? I'm going to leave it out because we're going to do all the stamping in one go. How cool does that look? Oh, you can't see the proper. Oh, there. He's pretty cool, isn't he? Let's do him on gold. And if I put this one straight in, that's why I did it in the middle as well. So I can stamp a few with him on. Because I'm only using two stamps. I'm trying to think, do we need another? Yeah, we'll put another one on. The chain up here doesn't look to have caught it as much. Perfect. And we'll do it on... Where's that iridescent one? That's it, isn't it? Let's see how it comes out. I'm not using that one at all. I'll stamp it on it, but I don't think that it's going to work. Let's just see how it turns out. Then the other two we'll use the last stamp on. Um, if you notice, a couple of my videos keep cutting off like five minutes before end. Um, we think we've worked it out. As far as I know, it's to do with my phone needed updating. And I think it's flashing up on my phone saying, update. And if you don't take it, take it off, you know, move it. It shuts your phone down. So that's what it kept kept doing to me. That is stunning on that. I can't get it off. That's belting on that iridescent. Oh. Oh wow. And I'll try it on this. So it's messing about with all different stamps, doesn't it? We're only doing it for technique, really. I don't want to be stuck. Well, I am going to be stuck with a load of men's cards. Because I don't know what to do with them. I ordered some, everybody kept saying they wanted some um, 
a bit more risky cards, risky. Well, I ordered some of these from All and Create. I didn't realise how many you get. They're all the same. What's in there is in there and there. But my goodness, some of the things they come out with. Sorry to have met you. <laughs> Life's good. You should get one. Oh, they really are. Really daring. Well, they are for me anyway. But yeah, look, it's not even... It's not taking it. I didn't like the way it heated up, so... And we've got to heat it again, so it's pointless me doing this. I don't know what I'm doing it for. Yeah, it hadn't even taken the ink properly. We'll see what happens with it. I'm just going to clean this off best I can. And we'll see when my stuff comes tomorrow. I'll just come and get all that off. I'll just get majority off now. There we go. That has literally dyed the stamp there. So when I get me, there's no ink on it. When my thingy comes, I'll come and clean them. Doesn't affect my stamps, so. Probably better for me when I go to put it on somewhere else. It's coloured so I can see, see what I've got. Right, this one, I'm turning sideways. I didn't when I put it on paper a minute ago, but I thought I could use some of it here rather than, because it's not as big. We're using, which also is for a man for me. This one's the penny farthing. That one's called I'm Late. So it's not as big. And it just looked lost in the middle of the card. So if I put it here, I can use some of them sarcastic words there. Or, I've got a stamp out. Where have I put the stamp? Oh, I don't know where I've put it. I was actually going to put some words on it. Well, that's a bit disappointing, isn't it? When I've had them in my hand. Well, it's not new for me, is it? Let me just... Oh, there you look. Woodware. Old chap. I thought about putting... I say old chap at the side of it because that's something that gets said over here. Happy birthday. Best wishes. I say old chap. Oh, have a TikTok day. To a special chap. I don't want to put any bling on. Let's see. Let's see if I did that, it'd be a bit lost here, wouldn't it? So no, I'm going to stick to sticking some of them sarcastic things on. But I do love this stamp set. It's great for men's cards. So I'll put that on that side, that can go away. Right, so let's pick it up. A bit, look better, a bit like that, wouldn't it? If it looked like it were straight and not the back wheel up in there. Same again. They're very unusual, these two stamps, aren't they? I've not seen them anywhere else. There you go. Lex is getting shouted up for barking. She'll have seen a dog on the teller. Shouldn't be a delivery man. I didn't think it was going to stamp it in the right place again, but it has. And we'll do it on silver. I think this one will look nice on silver. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right, let's put this away. This won't get used now until I do this technique again. So it's just not something I I use. Am I even in camera there? Couldn't see. Right, I'm going to clean that off best I can. With. I need to give that a good clean, don't I? Right, I'll get some paper and we've got to dry them. I nearly forgot them. If you don't dry them, then this technique is not going to work. Let's see if we can dry this one a bit. And start turning again, isn't it? They have to be 100% dry. Oh, I'm not doing it. It burns my hands, that one. Right, let's do it. So we know the edge is dry. I mean, if you wanted, you can do your stamping first, as long as you dry it, because then you can do your lines through it then. But say if you don't dry it, it ain't gonna work. You'll ruin it completely. It be, it's lovely and all if you see it stamped with flowers. But definitely Christmas trees. It's stunning. You can put your little coloured gems on after, can't you? On your Christmas tree. I'll check to see the dry in a minute. I'm trying not to blind you, sorry. That silly light I have to have on. Woo, that's hot. Bet you've never done a card that needs as much um, drain off. See, I can see how wet that is around the jacket. And then you can literally see it drain. Isn't he fabulous? He's amazing. Last one. I'm hoping this one actually works out in the end, the iridescent one, because I think it's amazing. The colours in it. How dry they all are. Oh, Toby, you made me jump. Uh, hello, guys. There's nobody there. <laughs> yeah, let's just see how much this dried. 
and then we'll go from there. We're, we're nearly done now. It's um. Oh well, wait a minute. You've got some more eating up to do. <laughs> eating up. Eating up. There you go. Perfectly dry. That's what we need from all of them. We know the background is. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. As always. Thanks, Toby. You're welcome. Here, Toby. Mm -hmm. It's nearly Father's Day. Father's Day? Yeah. Yeah. You can give one of these to your daddy. Oh. Uh, we can put a sarcastic comment on. Your dad will appreciate that. A sarcastic? <laughs> Why? Because that's what I'm putting on these ones. Yeah. The funny. Well, like me. Let's see if it socks. works. There you go. It did dry. Right. So we've got a few panels here, all dry, and now we're going to wet them up again. So this is where we take the ver Versamark. And what you're going to do, taking another piece of this, you literally, you're not going to push down and swipe. You're literally just going to let it sit and let it drag down. Mm -hmm. And this is, you can see how much is on this. I didn't mean, this has been sat on there for weeks. Weeks. But I obviously put too much on it, so... Too much of what? The stuff that's on it. So I'm literally going to sit it at the end and drag it down. Drag it down. Like... Nice and slow. And then if you stop, you're going to get a stop mark. You know where it's going to go like that? That's what you're going to get in it if you stop. I'm going to use my tweezers so that I'm not touching the... Really, I should have bent this card back first. That looks really nice. nice. This is going to have the stop marks on it. It's not going to work. That looks really good. All right, let's see if it's worked before we carry on. Clear embossing powder. Nope, that's gold. Wow. Wow. Where's the clear? Clear? Clear's right there. No, don't touch that. Where's my clear embossing powder? Oh, clear embossing powder. Have I put it back? Everyone. Well, I was using the Gina K one, but I have no idea sock. where I've put it. Bloody. Where the heck have I put that? That's fine, we'll do it with this one. It just needs to be clear anyway. Clear. But I'm just a bit worried at where I've put it. Well, you feel like you've, you're never going to find it. Doubting myself now, like what I'm putting on. Yeah, I would definitely have liked a bit more on this. In fact, I'm going to alter this one. So, because of the card was bent, it's literally picked it there, there and there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the edge and I'm just going to put my own little marks in. It's a bit disappointing, is that? If you need to run them all through your die cut machine and flatten them, that's okay. It's picked it up in a lot of places. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see that. So that's what you're going for, really. So let me heat that up. It makes it look like it's um, covered in water. It's, you know, that's why it's called black ice. It gives it a fantastic look. Shouldn't really do it when the powder's below me, should I? Toby's gone again. He's just been on part with his granddad with his 
drone granddad's got a drone in october there you go look at the mark it gives it black ice isn't it just fantastic I'd, oh, I love it on silver. I just love it. Let's move that onto its side and we'll do it. Right. Let's get as flat. As flat as can be. Right, I'm going to go from there. I'm actually going to use that end. So you're literally dragging it through. And if you put too much on, I think I might put too much on here. That's dead easy. I'll show you how to get rid of that. I mean, it wouldn't hurt if you covered the whole thing, like this pretty much is anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know why it was ever done with just little bits, but I mean, it just gives it a fantastic look. So if you're like me and you don't want all that, although it's not massive amounts, get a little thin paintbrush and just knock some bits off. Just try not to make it look uniform. There you go. That just looks exactly the same as what the other one did now. I have some thick, really thick clear embossing powder. Now that'd look amazing. Should we do one with that and see what it looks like? See how vintage it makes it look. I don't know if you can see the wet look to it. It's just amazing. I'm going to try the thick clear powder we've got. That doesn't come out to play enough. Let me just grab it. So I have this one, ultra thick. Don't know if it'll work. The really big things. Let's give it a go. Right, which ones did we do? You're done. Oh, it's just amazing. Oh, I just love it. You're done. Ooh, that was still a bit damp. Right. Let's come in with you two. The embossing pad just let it drag itself it's got my fingerprints in it there just rub that bit out so it don't put any of this in it Let's see what it does. Might just ruin it, don't know. Ooh, this might be good. Obviously I missed a load of bits because it was still bent. I'm going to eat it up. You can definitely see that, can't you? No, I'm not. I'm just going to put them in myself like I did with other. I 
let's see what that does. Let's heat that up. If anything, I'd say this is going to give it an even better look. I hope. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. It just looks like the cards went through. Oh, that's fantastic. Ow, it's hot. I might have with that. I don't know if it's going cloudy underneath it. Can you see that? Oh, you can see me. You don't want to see me. Where's the other silver one? So that gives it a, a mega wet look. That gives more of a black ice. That looks like rain. That looks like black ice. Somebody will come up to it and touch it because they think it's wet. I don't know which to do. I love them both. Right, what time are we on? The making of the card bit's easy. I'm going to do the normal ones and then see what Andy thinks. So I'll be sure to let you know. In fact, I'll let you know on live tonight, it should be. So, just laying it down, letting it fall itself. This is going to be one of them where I have to add in middle again. Because of the way it's bent. Might as well do this one while we've got it out. I'm not going to waste it. I might as well eat it up, haven't I? So I'm going to take my paintbrush on this one and make it not as weird there we go I'll, I'll eat it up in a minute take that off it's going to go in wet and I don't want it to go in wet
That looks good. <laughs> it looks good and that's the one that was going in the bin at the beginning. I'll do it. Heat these up and stick some of them things on and we're done. Look at all this powder. Ooh, isn't that a bug there? Gosh, you can't get over that one with the thick stuff on it. That's amazing. The jug card can take some heat, isn't it? The amount that this is I've thrown at it today. You can't help but bend this one, can it? Well, rather than putting it in bin, we got it to end, didn't we? I think it'll look alright, actually. Stay a bit and just this one. Oops, I've just knocked out the powder off. Oh, this is the iridescent one, isn't it? Right, there you go, that's all the working done. Now it's just putting them on panel. I just can't get over that with thick one on. Pretty amazing. Right, let's get them on some bases. I have to clean that, it's grating, but it's grating on me as well. Going with black card bases and cream backgrounds. I'm using <laughs> the Crafters Companion because it needs to be on something something that'll hold it down strong and that is one thing about that, it's strong. But once you place it there's no going back. Look at how bad that fingerprint is. Right, let's see if we can get this. I don't even know if that'll look nice on that one. Um, let's see what we've got here. I 
Now we're going to have to go with these colours. I was thinking more grey and then on black. Let me just cut two of these. And these have been cut out with the bigger of the master layouts. That take two seconds. two on cards on bases because then you've got the idea plus it will be in time then so I've got to try your flatter let's use you for now yeah let's try that I was just trying to work out, you know, whether I used Nina card or watercolour card, but I didn't, did I? I used um, metallic card. Ideally, if you had some, that's not going to work. If you had some um, like I've got the gold gilding wax to go around the edges if you had it in silver that'd look great so he's going to be stuck down straight down yeah I'm putting him straight down these are not my favourite things to use the Gina K one is Oh, that's the iridescent one, isn't it? That's awesome. So I did get some words out. I'll show you them words closer up on another thing. Right, I'm going to cut this. And this says, It's okay if you don't like me. Not everyone has good taste. <laughs> I love it. I'm easily pleased. I'd hate to think um, somebody would be offended by him. That would really upset me. That's why I was bothered about um, doing them. But when I shown the other ones that I had, the sarcastic comments, everybody loved them. So I'm quite happy about that. So I will use them. I just, I'll end up keeping them here because I don't offend anyone. I'm just guessing at that. Where's my other bit? Not only pull them off in twos, but it's not behaving. Well, this was a really random video. I'm going to go down now and Andy's going to say, have you got everything set up now? Are you ready for Sunday? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a video ready for Sunday. 
You've been up there ages. You said you were preparing. And I'm going to put that one somewhere there. What do we think? I'm in love with them. I absolutely love them. They're just the perfect stamps to do it with. So let's put this one down. Now you are having a cream behind. A cream behind. And then I'll do others off camera because I'm doing exactly the same thing. Now you're going on that kind of base. Yeah, so it would be better to put it to one side. This was the dummy run I did, but I put it on a black base, a black behind, and I didn't like it with the black, unless I put it on a white card, and then it would sort of like, look like that. And I just don't think it looks right. Don't know. So that'll just end up being, end up laying around everywhere. Just because I don't care doesn't mean I don't understand. Uh, I'm going to put it, at, just because I don't care. Doesn't mean I don't. And then understand at the bottom. And with these, I'm going to put them just skew with like that so let's get you on your base so i hope you've enjoyed these this is really totally different for me but honestly i'll do it at christmas and it'll blow your mind what am i doing you can see where i mess well i didn't mess it up my card um flaked a bit when I folded it it went all horrible on top so I've gone back to using my little sander for my cards you know to take all the bits off around the edges here because I get loads when it's gone through my dye machine so I've just gone back to do, doing that it's gone again now that's a little nail sander you know nail art so let's put these on And then I'll get out of your way and I will, well, I'll see if tea's nearly ready. I'm hungry. Baked potato today with cheese and beans. And I'm really looking forward to it. When Andy went shopping, he got some ginormous baked potatoes. So that's what we're having. Where's that little one? Yeah, you want to get some of them words. They're amazing. Just don't offend anyone. Don't tell them it was my idea. I'll take these down to Andy now and show him. He'll think they're funny. That's his humour. I should be using my pokey tool to get these off. Right, pokey tool it is. Oh. Huh. Aha. Right, just because I don't care. That'll do. That's what reverse tweezers are for. Doesn't mean I don't. understand there we go oh, i like that color around it now there we go i hope you like them i can't wait to finish these others off look at the watery look that you get it's just amazing so antique right i'm going i'm going to go finish these other ones off and i'll catch you tonight on the live if you're there i'll see you soon oh don't forget we've got the giveaway tonight Happy crafting. Bye.